Luckily, we did, because if it wasn't for that, we would have missed this guy. So get ready with your screenshots and take a snap at this elephant. The right tusk is much longer than the left tusk, although the left tusk is thicker. Now you can see the tusk sticking out the back. He seems to, and this is unusual for an elephant, he seems to use both tusks. The left one is worn on the outside and it's broken off at the tip. <coughs> the right one is skinnier at the front and he's almost got like a chisel-like point to it. And that's unusual for an elephant. Elephant do favor one tusk or the other. In actual fact, a tusk that is worn on one side is called the slave tusk because it gets worn so much. This is a real proper treat, everybody. Now, the great tuskers of, of the Kruger National Park are documented. There's a museum to them in, uh, in Lataba, which is a camp about 100 miles or so northeast of where we are now. And I wonder if this elephant is there. If any of you out there know the name of this elephant, please feel free to let me know. I don't know the names of all the great tuskers in the Kruger National Park. He's got a collar. You can see on the top of his head there. That is to keep track of him. That will send a GPS coordinate every few hours or every few days. Does absolutely nothing to him. He doesn't even notice it. And that will allow people to understand exactly where he is and what he's doing. I'm just going to make space over here. We've got some vehicles piling up behind us. John, now you wanted to know if there's a reason if the elephants in the Kruger, or why the reasons in the, uh, why is the reason that the elephants have bigger tusks in the Kruger? John, the, the genes for for big tusked elephant uh, are not are not gone from elephant. They've been hunted to almost a recessive gene, but because there's been over a hundred years of protection for these guys in the Kruger National Park, I think that elephant females have brought the recessive large tusked large bodied elephant back out of hiding by selecting the biggest bulls and the strongest bulls and the bulls with the longest tusks as mates. Um, in areas where elephants are hunted for their tusks, large tusked elephant disappear and only small tusked elephants are left to make small tusked babies. And I just think the Kruger National Park's long conservation success uh, has is, is bearing fruits in the fact that they're not only the biggest in body, but they're also the longest in tusks. And this is an absolute giant of an elephant. He is, I feel like, a, I'm sitting in a Land Rover that makes me feel small already. And I tell you that he is making me feel small in this car as well. A bit of inferiority complex, but he is a big elephant. Massive. I didn't do it. Do you want to know if it hurts if they break their tusks? Um, no, yes, it does if they go down to the root and the, the elephant's tusk extends to behind his eye. So the, you can actually see where it goes up into his brain case and then they almost meet at the top into his head and there's this long root. It's probably about as long, just a bit in front of the eye, there is where it goes into the skull. And the root extends about a foot out from the lip into the tusk. The rest is ivory. So where he broke it at the top and where he's, where he's, uh, he's rubbing it uh, smooth and sharp at the top, um, there there's no feeling. That is just solid ivory the whole length through. And so breaking that off or wearing it down will do not, that won't do much. He's even cracked, you see, cracks on that. Well done, Senzo. Wow, this is a big elephant. Where are you going, boy? I want to see you from the front. Look at that. Now, in all my guiding career, I've maybe seen about four of the great tusks. Now, damn shark, you want to know, was he resting his tusks on the, on, or resting his neck and his head on the tree? I think so. Uh, these tusks get heavy, and the greatest of the tuskers 
in the park. There were seven of them, called the Magnificent Seven. The greatest of the tuskers could rest his, trunk, his tusks on the floor and he could, uh, he could then relax the weight on his head and his neck. His tusks, this particular elephant's tusks, are angled forwards, not down. Very impressive set of tusks. Very even. Just look at the bulk of his body. Just He's dwarfing that marula tree. That is amazing. Snap that tree trunk. That tree trunk is about two to three feet in diameter. Maybe just a little bit less than, maybe just a little bit less than three feet. Maybe about two feet. Look at the size of the branches he's sticking into his mouth. Stephen, you'd like to know if there's any trees that an elephant would avoid. Absolutely. Um, they've got the most varied diet of any of the herbivores out here, but it doesn't mean that they will eat everything. Um, winter time, they eat a, a much wider variety of plant than they would do in summertime, and that's only because a lot of the plant's toxic compounds are attracted into their trunks and into their roots during winter, leaving their branches free for an, an animal to eat. Um, and so they'll eat more woody species, more different woody species in winter, but even then they will stick and shy away from the biggest ones. What he's doing there with his foot is just rolling off the external branches, the branches on the, the stick that he wants. Now he's gotten rid of all the branches and now he just plug, puts the empty branch in his mouth. And watch how dexterous that is. That branch is thicker than my arm. Probably about as thick as my lower leg. Oh, wow. Listen carefully, listen. Listen. Can you hear him crunching? His ears are folded over at the top. They've lost a bit of their tension. He's an old guy. His ears are folded over the top. Still massive. From about 45 years of age and upwards to their eventual maximum age in this particular area at 55. 65. Elephant will pack on massive amounts of muscle and bone and their tusks accelerate in growth as they get older. Their skulls increase in size. Look at that. You have just asked an interesting question. When elephant tear their ears, does it bleed? If all their look at the veins in his ears. Look at the veins in his ears. And Mariti's just asked if an elephant tears his ears, does it bleed? And Mariti, yes. If they tear it bad enough, it'll bleed a lot. All those lines that you see. There's the end of his ear. If you go up a little bit, you'll start to see the veins, the vein network. Look at that. 
that's behind his ears, a massive network of veins. If you puncture or they tear one of those veins, it bleeds like crazy. He's busy sticking another arm thick limb into his mouth. I've never seen an elephant devour a marilla tree like this. Wow, just crack that branch. This is amazing. It looks like it's an afternoon for rare things. We've got a giant bull elephant here where we are in the Kruger. You've had leopard with two uh, of my friends in the Mara and now Brent has got something just as rare to show you.